hey guys welcome back to jv's academy and uh, let's start with another chapter in our last video we saw what is line breaks okay so before that we understood what is this attributes attributes are nothing but additional details that we pass on to the tag of html so in the example in our sixth chapter what we have learned there are two attributes called as one is href and one is target okay these are the two attributes that we pass to a tag html tag called as anchor tag which you can also call as a tag okay so for a tag there are two attributes called as href and target but in this today's video we will learn about one more attribute that you can implement to any tag any html tag you can add that particular attribute okay and that attribute is called as style now styling your html tags is extremely important and a separate dedicated course will be created for that particular thing to understand styling of your html elements but this video or this video will be a small very brief introduction to uh, what style is and how to use it where to use it right a very brief introduction so that you just have some common idea with respect to attributes concept of the attributes we are just extending that a little bit more further okay so let's quickly go ahead and start so let's create a file called as chapter 8 style dot html right okay so let's go back to our line break I want to copy all this content actually so but for practice let's go ahead and type again uh, so first thing that we need to do doc type declaration doc type space html okay and then start html close html and then inside that we need head close head and then body and close body right so this is this is the basic uh, html structure once it is done let's go ahead inside our head and add our title of this whole document title start title close let uh, chapter 8 style at attribute okay perfect let's save this and inside this content let me go back to my line breaks chapter last chapter and uh, let me quickly copy this whole content because i need some dummy content to apply these styles so yeah i'll copy this and go to my styles inside this body i'll paste it okay so i have now successfully pasted it here this title you need to format it like this okay only the parent tag should be here and here hr is it so we can even make it like this yeah so that it doesn't interfere with the you know and even body what we can do is select the whole thing till here body and tab so that it's aligned correctly see html close html start body close body start body close and even this head start and head close we can select the whole thing and press tab so that it is organized neatly see what is the use is like it is easily understandable it is easily readable like html starts here and this imaginary line will come here so it closes here so then we have this head head body body and then inside that whatever we add like e tag hr tag br tag whatever it is let me remove uh, these things here we don't want first two we'll play with the p3 only in the sense this third best practices version right okay so let me quickly and remove this as well and the heading we can write as let's add some styling to the html tag okay 
perfect till now it is completely clear okay so let me go and open it in my browser this is chapter 8 styles right so let me open it in the browser let me close these tabs okay so this is what we have created right now okay this basic html this everyone knows so what we will do now is uh, this p is there isn't it this p okay inside which all the content is the present this is a paragraph text paragraph tag html tag so there is an attribute called as style so how to add the attribute you need to add attribute inside the tag where as soon as you open this bracket and p after this here this is the area where you add this style okay so how to add the style attribute it is simple you just need to type style and then equals to and then double inverted comma open double inverted comma close and click space and this is the area where you will be adding your style okay so how do i add style the first thing that i'll do first thing is let me click on save and go back here and let me quickly refresh and see does anything changes no nothing changes so what do i need to do here the first thing is let me try to change this font this font doesn't look good so let me try to change font in styles what we can do we can change font we can change font size we can change font family we call font family different if you want to use different fonts we call them font family uh, and uh, font thickness font styling and uh, width of the whole section thickness of the whole section margin of the whole section padding margin there are so many other cool stuff that we can do that we will be studying in a separate course itself but here i'll show you how to apply style attribute to your tag it can be applied to any tag here inside body or to your head wherever but make sure you apply it to the start of the tag not the closing tags starting tags itself you need to apply the style okay uh, there are so many other ways to apply style but we will see that in the later next course maybe in css so now style attribute we have added and let me quickly add font family or uh, let's say verdana and save it now if you think what has just now happened style i just added a style attribute is equal to bracket, double inverted comma open double inverted comma close and inside that what i have written font family and then colon vardana vardana is a font name the font there are so many fonts out there we will see many of them we will change many fonts and we will explore all of them uh, most of them at least I'll tell you how to how to check font names and all those things, but it's for later video. And this even this video is not compulsory in to learn in HTML itself, but still I want you to have a basic idea of this style as attribute as well, right? The style font family Verdana. So what happens now? Let me just quickly save and go back to our uh, this one and uh, see the font family has changed Verdana something default it was uh, let's say i have this tool to check what is the font so earlier it was this font called as serif okay and uh, but now we have this font called as verdana verdana font is applied now so what if i want to change the color of the font how do i change after this after the font family colon verdana you need to add a semicolon see we have added a semicolon right so after this semicolon i'll add one more style either on a next line or you can use the same line with some space just make sure you have added this semicolon semicolon in the sense this style is done and the next style one more style i want to add that is color okay so color how to apply it uh, I need to specify what is what color I want to apply, right? So for that, what I'll do, I'll write color and then 
column. Um, I'll mention it as something called as a red and then semicolon so that it closes there itself. First style that I added is font family Verdana and second style after semicolon is color red and then again semicolon means close it here itself. Now I'll click on save and I'll see here see the whole paragraph in the sense why is it getting added why the style attribute is getting added to all the lines here they're all different lines right because the paragraph starts here and ends here means the whole five lines are considered as one single paragraph what if what will happen if i close this paragraph here itself after one line itself if i close it just save it and go back here see if I close paragraph here itself, so whatever style attribute I have passed on to the P tag, it will just be applied to the first line if I close paragraph here itself. So if I close paragraph after fourth line, it will be applied to all four lines. So since the P tag ends here in the sense, complete all five lines are considered as one element of an HTML which is paragraph. So then whatever style I will be applying to this P tag will be applied to all these five lines. And then one more style let me quickly go ahead and add font weight. See I said you we can change the thickness as well right. So uh, I will keep it value 900 and click on save and let's go ahead and see what is the style what is the thickness. See the thickness of the font has changed and uh, we can also change the size of font as well. Uh, right now the size of font is let's say 16 pixels. So let me go ahead and change this font size font size to um, let's say 30 pixels and then click on save. see the font has font size is also changed so you might it, it might be a lot of information right now to digest but don't worry about it we will complete uh, so you need to understand where can we apply style we need to apply style to the start tag okay so that it will get applied to the whole element of that particular HTML style is also an attribute that we pass why we use attribute what is attribute attribute is nothing but a additional information that you want to pass on to the tag to how to render that particular tag right and inside style what are the values that we can add what are the values that we can modify what are the values that we can play around like font family font size font weight of uh, font color margin padding and even animations we can create entrance animation exit animation there are so many cool stuffs that we can do with this particular attribute called a style and we call it as css okay so we we will learn about that this css concept in a whole different course in itself so you don't have to go ahead and remember all these values font weight font color font family and all those things you don't have to go ahead and remember all these things just if this is use this as a reference you can play around and uh, there are so many other concepts as well inside the style itself so it is a very vast concept we will have to take a complete course on that again the second course after this html that will be a css itself right so yeah we will discuss more in our further course or further chapters but for now i hope you understood what is this style attribute and how to use it okay there are some other ways also we generally don't use this type of method we can edit we can style this p tag but what if the html page is very long we cannot go to each tag and custom style right so we need a centralized way of styling the whole document there are some different methods to do that shortcuts to do that right so we will be learning all those things slowly one by one Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video with one more concept in HTML. Thank you. Have a great day. Yeah, bye.